Oh boy guys, it's finally out. Intense Cedrat Boise from the House of Mansera is finally out. I actually did an anticipation video last November 22nd in 2021. Excited for the launch of this new Intense Cedrat Boise. If you haven't caught that video, please go catch it uh, as you'll find out all the details about this particular fragrance, although I'm going to tell you here, but there's also alternatives in that video. But now, finally, Intense Cedrat Boise is out. Uh, it was actually launched in Europe, in France, in 2021, but it's just making its way to the USA now in 2022, in April 2022. So I'm going to let you know all about Intense Cedrat Boise from the House of Mansera. I'm also going to compare it to the original Cedrat Boise, all coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yes, today I'm talking about Mansara's new Intense Cedrat Boise, uh, flanker to, well, I guess an updated version of the original, which came out in 2011. So 10 years later, they gave us Intense Cedrat Boise. Of course, the Cedrat Boise, the original, is a very popular fragrance from Mansara. I do find it as a great alternative to Aventus if you like that fragrance. So in comparison to Aventus, uh, I find Mansara's Cedra Boise to be a lot more smoother. I think there's definitely a presence of sandalwood here. So there's a, smoothie, a smooth, creamy uh, experience with Cedra Boise. I'm, I'm talking about Cedra Boise right now because there are differences here in intense Cedra Boise. So if you liked Aventus, you are looking for kind of a fruitiness and of course citrusiness, definitely check out the original Cedra Boise. And of course, Aventus is all about pineapple. Here we got kind of a pineapple-y thing happening with a fruitiness, but there's really not really like a pineapple credited in this particular fragrance. And same thing with Intense Cedra Boise. There's no pineapple. In fact, I feel like in Intense Cedra Boise, the fruitiness becomes even less. But I'll let you know all about Intense Cedra Boise because I am enjoying this particular version. Uh, it seems a little less like actually smelling like Aventus, so a little less comparison to Aventus, which most everyone compares uh, in, uh, Cedra Boise to. Before I let you know all about Intense Cedra Boise, if this is your first time tuning into this channel and you still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. Has anyone sampled Intense Cedra Boise yet? Have you been anticipating if you haven't? Are you a fan of the original? Let me know, put some comments down so you can find out. I think in the end, if you sample Intense Cedra Boise and you don't own either one, I think I would jump to the new Intense Cedra Boise over the original because I like what's going on here in addition to what happens in um, uh, instead of what happens in uh, Cedra Boise. But Intense Cedra Boise is a 2021 launch. It's Exre de Parfum concentration. I would call this a woody citrus amber fragrance, whereas in the original, we don't have a lot of ambery touches, if at all we do. Uh, I would call the original Cedra Boise as a woody citrus fragrance. For Intense Cedra Boise, notes are Sicilian citrus fruits, hot spices, black currant for top notes, heart notes features patchouli leaves, leather notes, jasmine, Cambodian oud, and white sandalwood. Finally, in the base notes, amber gray, white musk, vanilla pods, and wild oak moss. So I took these notes directly off of the Mansara website. Uh, interesting also, when I compared the notes for the original Intense, um, the original Cedra Boise, they refer to cold spices for Cedra Boise. They refer to hot spices for Intense Cedra Boise. And I feel like this is key for this particular differences between these two fragrances. Because in the end, Intense Cedra Boise does get warmer. It becomes warm, spicy in its dry down, and it becomes more ambery like experience because they do have the addition of ambergris here. Now, even though it's not your typical amber fragrance with resins and things like that, the ambergris does create a kind of um, a ambery experience. And then, of course, the addition of the hot spices. They're non distinct spices, but it could be things like not, nutmeg, not very standout ish because I don't get like a cinnamon. I don't get like cloves. So, so sort of nondescript and also not very smelly uh, kind of uh, hot spices uh, in the top notes with lots of lots of citruses. And I think the citruses for Intense Cedra Boise once again could be lemons. 
Definitely lots of lemons. It's a very juicy experience and uh, could be bergamot as well. Definitely has a juicy citrusy touch uh, and creamy all throughout, just like the original, but no pineapple. I'm not getting pineapple here. In fact, in the top, when you first spray it, it is its fruitiness. But as the fragrance is drying down, the fruitiness kind of goes away. I feel like I experience less fruits, more woods, and of course the ambery touch appears. So it's not as fruity as the original. And also, in comparison to the original, it's not as sweet as the original said Rapoise. And I feel like in the original said Rapoise, I get a lot more ripened fruit experience. And in this one, in the intense said Rapoise, because we have all the woods, the oud, and the ambergris, and the, the woods, I feel like that tones down and takes away from the, any sweetness that's in here to create for a little more of a uh, less sweet experience. And even though it is sweet, don't get me wrong, when you first spray it, top notes are very, very sweet. You do experience that. But as the fragrance is progressing, you'll experience less sweetness. You'll go into the, the heart notes, and I feel like in the heart notes you get lots of oud here, but not overwhelming. It doesn't clash with the citruses. It doesn't clash with you know, reminding you of Cedra Boise, but you will notice the differences between the two. And I think the most distinct noticeable differences are that this is not as sweet. It also doesn't have that fruitiness that the original does. Uh, so you'll definitely notice that in this particular section of the fragrance. Sandalwood also appears, and even though they don't credit sandalwood for the original, they mention woods, and I feel like there is sandalwood here, and I think that's where I'm getting the softness, this creaminess in both fragrances. And so there's definitely like a cozy experience with this, and anytime I see a creamy experience, I, I associate it with coziness, relaxation, soothing, you know, uh, comforting, those kind of thing, uh, you know, situations come to mind with these particular uh, notes, especially the sandalwood. So this is what you're experiencing experiencing here. You definitely experience uh, these uh, notes here. And then of course the le leather and jasmine appears as well. And these are kind of signature in the original fragrance. But that oud is pretty prominent. Sandalwood is also pretty prominent. And by now you're experiencing less fruitiness and a lot more things happening with the woods and the floral touches and the, you know, the, the oud and then of course the patchouli. Eventually the fragrance, as I said, does settle to a musky ambery experience. And and there, there's a vanilla here, and I feel like there's less vanilla in intense Cedra Boise, more vanilla in Cedra Boise, and that's why I feel like it is a sweeter experience overall and a more ripened fruit experience. And because it's toning down the fruitiness, I feel like the fruits in here in the, in the new intense Cedra Boise are not necessarily ripened fruit. So. There is that kind of a uh, experience with this particular fragrance, but eventually the fragrance, as I said, turns into this kind of a warm, spicy, ambery fragrance experience, but still lots of fruits and of course the oudiness present. You know, I do really like this one. I really do enjoy it. And it is an extrait de parfum concentration. And I feel like initially it does have some major, major projection. It has some really, really big reaching experience. But overall, I find both fragrances not to be the most beastliest experiences. Because a lot of you guys talk about, is it intense? Does it have major projection? Does it have this big cloud? Yes, you will experience it initially when you you know first spray this uh, fragrance on just like the original uh, it, you do experience that for about an hour to two hours but then it becomes very close to the skin uh, and uh, that's the kind of fragrance this is uh, would you wear it in the summertime time now that we're going into summer I would wear this in the summertime I think if you want something beast mode for summer, I think this would make a great fragrance wearing experience because it is definitely intense because longevity is really, really great with this one in comparison to this one. Uh, so I, I would say it has lingering power. And just as I was saying, it's not, you know, it doesn't scream too loud. It does for an hour to two hours, but then it's closer to the skin. But anytime my body heated up, uh, I started experiencing more projection and a little more, bit more cloud, you know, sillage cloud. But when my body temperature was, uh, you know, flat, uh, not really 
hot. Uh, it was uh, basically close, very close to the skin until I moved around a little bit. I do like this one. And as I was saying at the beginning, if you have not tried either and you are in the market for one, I would go right to this because this is a lot more complex to me. There's a lot more happening. Uh, and this original Cedrap Waze can become boring because for me, it's mostly a citrus with the leathery touches in the dry down. Here, at least we have a lot of stuff going on with the start of the fruits and the top notes. And then of course, the, the start of the woods and the, the floral touches and the oud in the heart notes, and of course the ambery experience in the dry down. So there's definitely a lot more uh, unique twists and turns with intense Cedrap Waze in comparison to the original Cedrap Waze. Now, if you have Cedrap Waze, I would suggest test it out to see if you notice a lot of differences. Because once you get over the fact that there's definitely fruitiness here, and the fact that intense Cedrap Waze has less of a sweet fruitiness, if you get past that, the fragrance is mostly similar. Of course, you're also getting the changes in the heart notes with the oud and the ambery touches. So once you get past those, the fragrance experience is mostly the same. So you might not need the additional fragrance, but I would suggest test it out and see. Perhaps you're bored of the original and you want some more excitement with your Cedrap Waze wearing experience and you go right to the intense Cedrap Waze. So those are my thoughts and the differences between the two. Uh, again, they're very similar, but then they're not. Uh, of course, it starts off sweet at the beginning uh, when you first spray the Intense Cedrap Waze, but it gets less sweet and less fruity and oud and woods and, uh, you know, ambery touches, uh, you know, start uh, uh, kind of increasing. And so you experience a little different uh, wearing experience in comparison to the original. I do recommend this one uh, and I think you should look into it. And I think it's going to be a great summer fragrance because it does have some depth to it. It does have a lot more things happening. It's definitely a lot more complex than the original. Anyway, those are my thoughts on Intense Cedrap Boise, the latest release from the House of Mancera. I've been waiting since November 22, or at least November, when I first heard about this. In fact, one of you guys sent me a message and said, hey, look, my friend has been smelling the new Intense Cedrap Boise. I thought it was fake. Uh, this was on Instagram. So I researched and looked around and then I said, please send photos. Is it really true? Yes, it was true. So that's why I did that video back in November, uh, you know, anticipating this launch. And finally, finally it's here like six months later. Uh, anyway, I think this will be a hit. Uh, check it out. Uh, check out uh, what you think about it and, you know, go smell it in a store. Get a sample if you want. Uh, I do have a link to uh, Twisted Lily in the info box. You can always go there and sample or get samples or buy uh, bottles and there is a discount code in the info box as well. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you today on Mancera's Intense Cedrap Boise. Are you excited for this release? Are you, have you been waiting for it or are you going to skip this one because you already have the original Cedrap Boise? Let me know, put a comment down. Um, other than that, thanks so much for watching today. If you have any questions or comments, please do list below. Please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye. Hey, I do have one more thing to talk to you guys about. Do you know that Mancera's bottles all are um, decantable? So they come off like this. Uh, not that I've put this one on very tightly, it's not going to open up. But sometimes when I open this uh, and then it just takes this thing apart and then it gets stuck. And so I hated that about uh, Mancera bot bottles. So I used a little, you know, um, clamp here to clamp this in tight so that doesn't happen. This is uh, Cedrap Boise, uh, one of the older bottles. But now the new bottles do have a nice new sprayer and it doesn't twist off and it doesn't get stuck in the cap and you can't take it off kind of a thing, right? So I think that's also a great thing that they're doing. I'm kind of bored of these decantable bottles. Yes, it makes it easy, but uh, really, I don't like that they they would get caught and you can't really open it. You'd have to figure out a way to twist it off. So I like the fact that these uh, bottles from uh, Mancera are now, you know, like other bottles. And this sprayer is really, is a great sprayer. 
and uh, I do really, really enjoy um, the new bottles. And of course, I'm enjoying the, 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 the fragrance as well. I think it smells really, really great. And as I was saying, I think it's going to be perfect this summer. Uh, I think because of that depth it has in the, the heart and the base, it's going to have major uh, longevity. Even though I feel like it's not one of the biggest screamers ever in fragrances. Anyway, those are my thoughts today. Stay tuned for another video tomorrow. Bye-bye.